Watching it yesterday for only the fourth time in his impressive, remarkable 19-game streak, Chris Panulo went into final jeopardy with a lead that was not insurmountable. Luckily for him, he came up with a correct response and now finds himself tied for seventh place on the Jeopardy leaderboard of legends for most consecutive wins. Will he become a 20-day champ today and continue to move up in the ranks? Or will it be Josh or Ilana heading into the weekend as a new Jeopardy champion? Good luck to all three of you. Here are... Total $666,744. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Ken Jennings. Thank you, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy. Were you watching it yesterday for only the fourth time in his impressive, remarkable 19-game streak, Chris Panulo went into final jeopardy with a lead that was not insurmountable. Luckily for him, he came up with a correct response and now finds himself tied for seventh place on the Jeopardy leaderboard of legends for most consecutive wins. Will he become a 20-day champ today and continue to move up in the ranks? Or will it be Josh or Ilana heading into the weekend as a new Jeopardy champion? Good luck to all three of you. Here are the that we'll decide. We begin with historic quotations, then body language, physics. We have some African lakes and rivers, hit the spot, and finally, NFL teams by home stadium. Where do you want to start, Chris? of Jupiter showed that wind speeds inside this increased by 8% from 2009 to 2020. Josh. What is the great red spot? That's it. Uh, NFL team 600. Opened in 2020, SoFi Stadium. Two teams, please. Josh. What are the Rams and the Chargers? You got it. Uh, African Lakes and Rivers for 800. We presume you know he reached the delta of the Okavango River around 1850. Chris. Ruth Livingston. I presume, yes. African Lakes and Rivers 1000. This colorful river forms the southwestern boundary of South Africa's Free State Province. Chris. What is the orange? Good for 1000. African 6. The answer there. The Daily Double in the round. You have a $2,000 lead over Josh. 3600 please. Betting it all on African Lakes and Rivers. Between Khartoum and Aswan, the Nile runs through a series of six rapids called these, also a term for waterfalls. What are cataracts? That's correct. You have $7,200. Body language, 1000 The fruit of the rose. Chris. What is the hip? Right. Physics, 1000 the name of this carbonated beverage once meant a type of Appalachian moonshine. Chris. What is Mountain Dew? Yeah. Quotations 1000. Martin Luther King said, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward this outcome. Ilana. What is justice? Yes. Uh, body language 800. If you mouth off to someone, you give them lip, or what the Brits call this other facial part. Chris. What is cheek? You got it. Spot 800. The spotted type of this animal eats every part of a carcass, even parts it can't digest, like hair and horns. Ilana. What's a hyena? Not a picky eater, yes. <laughs> um, hit the spot, 600. The spot type of this uses heat generated by electricity to join metal sheets together. Josh. What is welding? That's right. Uh, body language for six. This music can mean a pitch thrown high near the batter's head. Josh. What is chin music? Yes. Uh, historic quotations for six. What to the American slave is this U.S. holiday? Asked Frederick Douglass in an 1852 speech. Chris. What is Independence Day? The 4th of July is correct, taking you to $10,600. And we need to pause for some commercial messages. We'll come right back after this. therapy assistant from New Orleans, was a big reader as a child, like many of our players. What was your pleasure reading? So, 
I guess, unlike other kids that were reading fiction, my go-to was the World Book Encyclopedia. I was fortunate we had a full set. They kept it on a nice low shelf. Um, no one can really remember exactly how young I was, but seven or eight is the guess, as, as old enough to be able to read it. It served you well. Did it also make you a Jeopardy fan? Uh, actually, I didn't get into Jeopardy until my 20s. I've just been a nerd my whole life in general. <laughs> Well, unlike you, Josh Greger, a teacher from Grand Rapids, was a Jeopardy fan very early. How young were you, Josh? Well, when my mom was pregnant with me, she tells me she used to watch Jeopardy, and she said after a while, I got to know the think music, and I would start moving around when it came on. <laughs> so I've been a Jeopardy fan since before I was born. You're a prenatal Jeopardy dancer. We might have to see that dance during the, uh, during the think music, if you can remember it. I don't know. Chris Panulo from Ocean City, New Jersey. You have siblings, you're on a, a group text with them, but the group chat has taken an unusual turn ever since your Jeopardy streak started airing. It's taken an unfortunate turn. Uh, we talk a lot about Jeopardy now for some reason, and um, every time you know they, they send, instead of saying okay, or instead of a thumbs up emoji, they'll send a photo of me or a screenshot of me giving the thumbs up. <laughs> and I, I see my face often enough during the day. I don't need them just showing it to me nonstop when I'm talking to them. Let's see the new Chris Panulo thumbs up emoji. There it is. Make sure you screenshot that at home for your memeing pleasure. Chris, you have control of the board as well. Where to now? Lakes and Rivers Board. Gustav, a huge one of these, said to have killed hundreds of people, lived along the shores of Lake Tanganyika. Chris? What is an elephant? No. Josh? What's a hippo? Also incorrect. Ilana's going to try. What's a crocodile? That's it. Uh, African Lakes 200. In 1805, Henry Nichols set out to find a route to the Niger River from this ocean, unaware he was starting from its mouth. Chris, what is the Atlantic? That's right. Physics eight. FYI, the French pronunciation ends with wa. This sparkling water brand founded in Wisconsin, oi. Chris, what is Lacroix? Not La Croix. Yes. Quotations eight. In 1793, he wrote, My country has, in its wisdom, contrived for me the most insignificant office. Chris. Who is Franklin? No. Josh. Who is Washington? Also incorrect. Ilana. Who is John Adams? Vice President John Adams, that's right. Uh, historic quotations 400. Former Representative Jeanette Rankin to Congress in 1935. You can no more win one of these than you can win an earthquake. Josh. What's a foreign war? No. Chris or Alana? Chris. What is a war? Just a war. Yeah, that's it. Physics 6. In 1982, this three-letter soda began losing a lot of weight in sales after the debut of a fellow Coca-Cola item, Diet Coke. Chris. What is tab? That's right. Spot 400. In the NFL, the penalty called defensive this gets the offense a first down and the ball moved to the spot of the foul. Chris. What is pass interference? Yes. Physics 4. Are you my pal? You are if you know the name of this sparkling flavored soda is Spanish for fresh air. How about one? Ilana. What is fresca? That's right. Uh, physics 200. The competition was green with envy in 1908 when this brand of water won the Grand Prix des Eaux Minerales Vente de l'année. Chris. What is Perrier? That's it. NFL teams 4. The frozen tundra of Lambeau Field. Ilana. Where are the Packers? Yes. Uh, NFL 200. Acrisure Stadium, formerly Heinz Field. Josh. Where are the Steelers? Yes. Uh, body language 4. To apply this body part to the line or the mark is to observe the rules. Josh. What is tone? Right. Uh, body language 2. As a noun, it can be the edge of a road. As a verb, take the burden or the blame. Josh. What is shoulder? Right again. Uh, hit the spot for two. The black spots on the backs of these small red beetles warn predators that they won't taste good. Chris. What are ladybugs? That's correct, and we'll finish it off with historic quotations. Herbert Hoover drawing a laugh in 1936. Blessed are the young, for they shall inherit the national this. Chris. What is debt? That's correct. The comic stylings of Herbert Hoover. You have $12,400, but Josh, you'll select first when we come back with the Double Jeopardy round. Stick around for that. <laughs>